So today, my aim in this video is to show you how long a boily pellet will last when it's actually out in the water and fishing. We're getting a lot of questions about this product at the moment. Uh, people are slightly confused about what they are. So in my last video, we talked through the properties, the similarities between boilies and pellets and the differences, why you would possibly use one of these over anything else, why I prefer them for barbel fishing over a normal boilie or a normal pellet. So if you haven't seen that video, go and have a watch of that one and that'll explain everything that you need to know. So, like I said, my aim of this video is to show you how long they actually last. We're getting a lot of questions about this as well. So, the last video we explained that these are a soluble bait. So, basically, when you put these out into the water, uh, they'll start to slowly, slowly, slowly break down over a period of time. And we're going to explore that a little bit further today. We're going to see just how long they do actually last. Uh, so the way that I'm going to attempt to do that for you is to put a boilie pellet on each rod. I've got two rods with me today and we're going to fish them for as long as we possibly can. So if we catch multiple fish on them, I'll show you all that. If we don't catch anything, I'll tell you, you know, how long we've been fishing with them. At the end of the session, we'll pull the baits in and we'll see if there's anything left or if they've completely melted away. Look at this, absolute carnage. I've been here less than five minutes. Three casts, three chub. Just put the first one back and look at this. <laughs> Both rods at the same time. Unbelievable. First one of the session, first barbel of the session. Oh, he's a distinctive one, he's only got one eye. Recognise him again. Again, on a boily pellet, you can still see it there, just about hanging out of its mouth. Don't think I'll be making any changes to my hook bait choice anytime soon. There we go, that's barbel number two of this session and fish number five in total. So that's three chub right at the beginning of the session and two barbel, that's two barbel in two casts as well now. It's just started to pick up. I've not, the, the swim's been relatively quiet since I got here, but in the last sort of 15 minutes, I've just seen them start to sort of show themselves out there. And lo and behold, two of them have turned up in two casts. Yep, not a bad fish. Very, very strong fighter. Like I said earlier, it's very, very warm today, so I'm uh, gonna get this one straight back. Lovely. Barble number three now, starting to pick up. Didn't have to wait too long for this one to 
rattle off. Of course, on another boily pellet. Honestly, I've never used a hook bait in my life, which has had a result like this. Everything else is out of the bag now. That's the only hook bait that I've used in the last few sessions since the river opened. Every fish that I've caught has been on one of these boily pellets. Absolutely incredible. And they seem to be getting slightly bigger as well, so that's always good. Got a couple of hours left yet. We'll see if anything else materializes. Making sure he's well rested before he goes back. He's definitely ready to go and munch some more oily pellets, so we'll let him go. If he wants to go, there we go, he's gone. Let's get that rod back out. So I've just put that barbel back. This was the bait that was taken out of its mouth. As you can see, it's still perfectly fine to be chucked straight back out. It's probably dissolved, I don't know, maybe two mil. It's probably about 12 mil now. It was originally 14, but this is the, I've had two fish on this bait now. So it's not one of those kinds of things where you've got to change it every single cast. They do last, as you can see there, they last very well too so nothing wrong with that hook still sharp bait still usable it's going back out well that didn't take very long so this was a couple of minutes after i was just showing you that boily pellet so this is is it three or four i think this is four three can't remember so i have a three or four fish now on that same bait and you can just about see it hanging out of its mouth still. Camera shy of this one. You see it there on the other side. So we'll give it a check once we've unhooked him. And my guess will be it's good enough to go out again. So that's the bait. I've just unhooked that barbel. So that's like three or four fish now on that same bait. You can see it's so it's starting to break down, but very, very usable still. It's probably only lost another millimetre off it since I looked at it last. So you can see just how long they do last. It's not something that you've got to change constantly, you know, like with a, a halibut pellet or something like that. Those things, you know, you, you're having to change them every cast, every couple of casts at best. So... That's going out again. You can see there on the outside how it's sort of breaking down. You can imagine how all that stuff leaks down the swim. All those sort of nice bits and pieces of ingredients that are in there leaking down the swim. Absolutely stinks as well, but in a good way, of course. Right, let's get it out. Right, so it's the end of the session. I'm just winding the rods in. This is the first rod, so the other one's still out. Uh, so I've caught fish on both rods today. Four barbel and four chub. Good session. So this particular bait has had two fish caught on it. And things went a little bit quiet towards the end. So this one's probably been out in the water for an hour with without any action. Uh, but before that, with the last sort of two fish that were caught on it, I would say in total it's probably been out there for three and a half hours today. And you can see there's still a good amount of it left. It's definitely, definitely started to break down, which is what it's supposed to do. But it hasn't disappeared completely. Now, if that was a proper pellet like a halibut pellet that would have been long gone probably after i don't know half an hour 45 minutes i'd have had to put another one on so i'd have used multiple in this session obviously a boilie would have lasted but the problem with the boilie is you know the clues in the name it's boiled 
So all that goodness that's leaking out of this doesn't happen with a boilie, unfortunately. It will last a long time, but there's nowhere near the level of attraction leaking out like this one. I'd be happy to throw that out again. I reckon I would get, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half, possibly more. Probably an hour and a half, I would say, before that's completely disappeared. And this is the what's left of the hook bait on the second rod. And you can see there, the rig's actually in a worse condition than the bait. And if you remember, this was this exact same bait that we put back out after I caught that last barbel. So this has had three or four fish caught on it now. Again, started to break down like it's supposed to, but still very, very usable. Again, I'd be happy to throw this out for another hour at least. You can see there, it's, it's all starting to break down really, really nicely, but still very, very solid underneath. I'd be more than happy to put that one back out. Maybe not the rig, <laughs> but definitely the bait. Okay, well, I hope that's answered some of the questions that you guys have had for us. Uh, so just to summarize, I've fished two rods, both with boily pellets. We've had four barbel and four chub, and I think we've used about four hook baits in total. So you don't need to use a lot of these things. So this particular pot here has done me two sessions so far, and you can see there's at least half of it left. I would probably get another couple of sessions out of it, I would think, before I've got to put a refill in there. And that's the beauty of these as well. So once this pot's empty, you don't need to go and spend another fiver on another pot. Go and buy one of our refills, tip it in there, it's gonna cost you 